Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day off with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. I'm going to start today's show off by featuring one of the very talented artists that you'll find right here in the Keys. Now, she is a poet and a photographer. She uses a very intriguing art form that we haven't really talked about before on the show, and that's poetography. Now, this is an emerging art form of combining images with poetic lines, each one enhancing and informing the other in surprising ways. She is also the founder of Stella Luca Press, which is a literary publishing company that's based right here in Key West. Maureen, thank you for joining me this morning. I'm happy to be here. Well, it is great having you here, and I love your work. Maureen, all of our viewers right now, these are your photographs that they can see behind us. How long have you been doing photography and, and poetry? Uh, photography has always been a hobby of mine, but I got into it more seriously once I um, retired. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2001, okay. and at that point I started um, also writing poems to go along with the photographs and, and getting more involved in poetry as well. Mm -hmm. I was always interested in poetry and read extensively. I was an English major in college, but mm -hmm. I sort of took a detour and became a uh, software consultant, mm -hmm. and the, it was only after I retired that I started to uh, do it full time. Okay, and so what happens then when you combine these photos with poetry, would you say that it kind of makes the photos come more to life for the viewer? Or what's the benefit of this? Well, in my mind, it's being able to uh, create a story or some additional insight into the photograph, and also mm -hmm. sometimes the poems come first, and I find a photograph that more or less uh, expresses what the poem is saying or lends mm -hmm. some you know other dimension to what the poem is saying mm -hmm. so in both cases it, you know it, it can work either way back and forth mm -hmm. and now you're going to read one of your poems for us this morning would you like to go ahead and, sure. and read one of the poems and which poem does this photo go with that our viewers will see behind the house us? actually that's behind me right now okay. is the um, photo that this poem uh, inspired that the I'm sorry that the photo inspired this poem. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and I called it permit because of the uh, building permits that you see around town all of the time and this mm -hmm. house is um, in, in a state where it looks like it needs repair. <laughs> so, permit. The house persists through color. Powder puff blushes the fence. Tenacity of pink. Shutters hanging past seasons. And blue, calm as island sea breaking. I love it. I love how you do this, then how you can combine how you can combine the two, Maureen. Thank you. And it does. It helps make the photo even more real, just because of that poem. Maureen, how long has Stella Luca Publishing been around for? I started in March of 2010, and it was a result of my thinking of self-publishing. But then I started to realize that you could, in fact do it for real because the technology is available now and there's a lot of on-demand publishing services so it's pretty easy well not easy but it's possible to uh, mm -hmm. put a book together uh, not only my own work but other people's work I've also done an art book by a local photographer mm -hmm. and um, the photographs of the studios of the um, cemetery the Key West mm -hmm. Cemetery mm -hmm. and um, I have that book available in my studio at the studios of Key West as well as um, a chapbook of my own poems Okay, so now are you always looking for new people to come on board with Stella Luca? For the right type of projects, yes. Mm -hmm. um, especially um, poetry projects are easier now um, than ever before because of the on-demand printing. With art books it's a little harder because you need a better quality of paper and um, publishing um, material. Mm -hmm. So you need to, um, you know, take more time and do more research to come up with a good book. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. Is there anything in particular that you're working on right now, Maureen? Um, one of the things I started doing over the last year was writing poems to go along with artists' exhibitions. A friend of mine had, a, had an exhibition of her paintings at the studios of Key West. We were actually childhood friends, and mm -hmm. um, she asked me to write some poetry for her show, which I did, and I enjoyed the experience very much. And um, I am working on another project that's going to be um, an exhibition at the studios of Key West in July, uh, Riffs on Immortality with um, Keith Bland, who is um, a local painter. Mm -hmm. And it entails um, 
Keith's portraits of African sculptures, mm -hmm. and the theme is immortality. So mm -hmm. we're going to have, um, you know, not only poetry but music. And my friend Kristen Larkin Lodurfo will be, whose, po whose paintings I wrote for last year, will be uh, reading my poems at the exhibition. Oh, that so will be, be a dramatic reading. She's mm -hmm. a longtime actress. Uh, she had, had a long career, I should say, as an actress, um, mm -hmm. and before she became a painter. Mm -hmm. So um, that's the three of us are more or less um, collaborating on on different interpretations of that theme mm -hmm. surrounding um, immort immortality. Well, that will make the exhibit come to life then so much yes. more with the three of you doing that. Yeah, and then there'll be music too. Mm -hmm. We're we're hoping to um, uh, have some musicians involved as well in the um, on the idea of a New Orleans funeral march type music. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. Well, I look forward to seeing that and you'll have to keep all of our viewers updated on it as well. Maureen, thank you for being on the show this morning with me. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take My a pleasure. quick break right now, but I will be right back after this with Powerboat Races. Stay <laughs> with me. Mm -hmm.